Playing more aggressive, up the ropes again. Onto the building, escapes. I, Yamato hates these ropes. Is scared of friction burn, maybe. Welcome back to some more deadlock. Your games, I'm watching. He's dropping low. Shiv trying to get the final off damage on him. Can he get the clicks? Moan Krill's healed up enough. Going in deep. The Mole Man under the tower. I gotta be honest, this game does kind of just become a back and forth down one or two lanes. But there were some amazing survivability builds in this. He's so tanky. He has so much spirit lifesteal that every time he uses something, he's healed him back to full. Uh, really fun to watch. Uh, enjoy. Hopefully soon we'll be able to hide the timeline down here. But until then, they're gonna have to put up with it. What are these lanes at today then? Mo Krill with a shiv. Couple of lads that want to get in there versus some squishy old high DPS lads. This will be an interesting lane. These two kind of both going ham on ham, all in. Left side, two melee enjoyers. Right side, a couple of lads that just want to plink each other. And our other mid lane. A turret lady go for a little bit of an aggressive dive already. Backed up by Warden. And Vindicta as well. With fucking Wraith, who's already had to go base, so not looking good. For old Wraith, having to back out to heal, and I missed the first blood. It always happens. Four lanes. I'm not looking at the health bars. <laughs> I'm not looking at Vindicta's going for something here though. Not quite catching it. But look at the look, look at the aggression. Not even looking for the loss. It's not looking for the denies, just looking for the harass. It's just plain old bullying. Plain old bullying, I tell you. Sapphire Flame playing aggressive as well. Shiv try to go something on the return. After they're running up the hill. But I'll decide to back out instead. Not played Moan Krill much, but I feel it's probably a hero I might quite enjoy. And I've missed all the kills yet again. Yet again. Yamato. Is it Yamato? Again, still new. Still learning the names. <laughs> still learning the abilities. But enjoying the game nonetheless. Nonetheless. I feel half the time I'm having to look at the minimap to see who's making an aggressive play. I was curious of what the real strat should be. Are you, are you, should you be trying to push aggressive early? Or should you be chilling for a bit? Should you be trying to get the CS, or should you be trying to get the Guardian down as fast as you can so you can farm more freely? And Sapphire Flames seem to think pushing is the answer here. Shunting it as far as they can, as quickly as they can. And that's what Paradox is doing on the other side here. Because Grey Talon's um, shopping. Grey Talon, zero souls. Zero souls? Zero souls! Okay. Not, not sure they know what they're doing. I think probably one of the first games. That's fine. Not, not read the tutorial about how to get money. Yeah, I mean they're just, they're just literally just harassing, not going for any. Maybe, no, just, just kind of spraying and praying. Just shooting anything that looks exciting to them, <laughs> which is fair enough. Sapphire Flame, they're clumping up under this guardian. Try to defend this push. I've missed every kill. Every kill. Thought the action would be here with the tri lane. But apparently not, it's on the other sides. Oh, there we go. We finally catch a kill. And it's Vindicta just kind of plinking from a range. With lads. Not really moving too far. Maybe looking for some more. The wall's going up, trying to fly over it. Not quite gonna get there. I mean, Hayes is just kind of, kind of doing a fair bit. Fair bit of damage. Getting kills on the lane. High DPS indeed. But who's actually winning on the old CS? It is Hayes. With a lot of old souls. I'm not sure whether that's mainly because of kills or... Or what? Probably. Most likely. With Amber Hand. It is... Old turret woman, McGuinness, is kind of pogging off. I mean, the fact that they've committed to this trialing quite early is concerning for me, or for them, I don't know. 
I'm not sure why Abrams has given up on his lane, lost the Guardian, and then thought it's time to group up. I'm just trying to plink down Vindicta from range, but he's got to get in there to do the damage. On Haze now, might be in trouble. Molly, Molly, Molly coming in for the lockdown. She's dead. Oh, she dead. And Furnus, he's surviving by himself, though. I can't quite get him as well. He's playing a bit more defensive. Although Yamato is coming in on a rotation. Dropping low, gets one kill, but dies for it. And Wraith trying to punch a little bit more. McGuinness surviving on a slither. But Vindicta does die on the lane. It's good to see people moving across lanes, though. I feel there's still a lot of games where people will just stay in their lane for the whole game. And they go, well, I started here, I will end here. So nice to see people rotating. You know, helping each other out more than now. Going to the yellow lane to, to get some farm while the try lane is... Or sit an option if he went back to his original lane. He would still be there, but... Get some souls, get some farm. Having a good old time. Oh, and that's a haze ult. Gets down Shiv. And the double roll away, trying to live. Does get there. Or Mo and Krill. Having to deal with his fireman on the backside. Yeah, they're both going to survive. They're both all right. So they might look for a dive here with Wraith. Yamato's looking. Yamato's hunting. I'm clicking around the wrong thing. Couple more clicks will do it, but reloading. Can't get there. Can't quite get there. Just throwing stuff in frustration, it feels. Close though, but Guardian down. Guardian down and map control acquired. Well, Vindictor actually gets uh, the old Warden, who was happy farming for a little bit. Getting his souls up, up to 3k. Off the tri lane was a bit low, so catching up. And now Moan Krill looking for something. He's trying to do a little wrap round, but is it going to land? Is it going to connect? Getting a big old punch. Getting slipped, slipped, slept <laughs> by Haze. Now going for the grab on Infernus. Well, his ult goes off, gets the stun, frees him up. Now Moan Krill's having to hide while Infernus as well try to run away. He's dropping low. Shiv tried to get the final off damage on him. Can he get the clicks? Moan Krill's healed up enough. Going in deep. The Mole Man under the tower. Can't quite get it. Can't quite get it. And now Hayes is coming in for a bit of rotation. Is also quite low from all this harass. McGinn is dropping the ult. They're just going to hide around in the shop. The wall goes down. They're running around the corner on McGinnis. Looking to plink down. Looking for the final damage, but can't quite get it. They're slippery on these fire lads. So close, a little bit of a chip, chip, chip. Is it gonna be under the walker? She's crazy on McGuinness, but tanks a little bit of damage and will retreat while Infernus is still running away from Abrams. Who's hunting? He's hunting and finally gets it, running far up through the city. Finally gets a kill. Now Vindict has come to try and help out, but shooting, I think the wall there. Or maybe it was just a replay bug on our end. And here comes Abrams, doing a big old jump. But it's a bold play. It's a bold play. And dies for it. And now Vindicta, feeling bold with one dead. Getting the flying vision. Getting another kill. Man. And Yamato as well, also picked off Warden on the side lane. 6k net worth. Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. Getting a fair bit of farm with all these kills. Now Wraith is, uh... Is she aware? Is she aware of the position she's in? She's kind of gone behind Mo and Krill here, getting locked down. The Walloping comes in. She's dropping low, she's dead. I'm not sure she realized she was behind him. <laughs> Probably just trying to farm, but... Didn't really work it out. I think Grey Talon is just kind of chilling here on this lane. <laughs> Disengaging. Just all about the push. A little bit too far away. We'll leave them to it on the chill, chill, sleepy <laughs> PVE lane while Infernus is uh, running around. Surviving a bit, trying to defend this Walker. Walker guarding him as much as they can while the Hazel goes down. 
So she gets punished for it. Quite aggressively as Infernus can't really help her out. Now Wraith is here to help try and defend. But these big old up in your face characters. Plain aggressive. Mo and Krill looking for something. Doesn't have the ult up but the walk is there. We'll probably deter him back a bit as he chonk it up a fair bit of damage on him. Unless... Unless! Thinking twice. Infernus dropping to half health. And Wraith as well. Dropping very low. But this walker, it's too scary. It's too scary to go under at this point in the game for them. And then Furnish just kind of throwing the old out. Please get away, he says. Stop this madness. Mo and Krill doesn't care. They're using the van for a bit of cover, but just can't, they can't get the final off damage. They're poking. They're poking under the walker, but can't get anything. There's no return kills. And Furnish, he's staying around on so low health. 200 or so. A, a big old bluff would get him, but maybe we're just backing out for now, going somewhere else to find some souls. Find some old souls. Leaving Wraith to solo defend here against these beefy boys. I'm gonna hold for a little while. However, Sapphire Flame going for a defense on the purple lane against a couple. McGuinness has come quite aggressive. And Yamato try to get the gap close, but up the ropes, up, up and away. Not going to follow up. So we'll be able to scurry away and just Paradox is the one that dies on the escape. And now Infernus, he's come too far away from his tower by himself. Who's next? Gets surrounded. The Vindictus look, <laughs> looking to help on the rotation now from Purple Lane. People coming in. Getting some big old damage off the sleep there from Haze. But getting locked down by Mo and Krill. The squishy old lady gets dropped quickly. What was meant to be a pincer maneuver. Ends up getting them got. And they do eventually get Mo and Krill, but can they get Shiv as well, who's on the retreat? They're slowing him up, they're punching him up. A couple of heavy hits. A slash or two. She's really just committed to the punching and shiv. God, finally dies. Finally dies, but Sapphire Flame. Playing as a unit. Playing as a unit and just chasing down Amber Hand. I say playing as a unit. Because uh, Great Talon is still just here by himself. He's not left his lane. He's having a fine time. Leave him to it. He's playing PvE and let let the lad PvE, okay? <laughs> He's alright. He's chilling. He's learning about last hitting and denying now, which is good. He's learning. He's getting there. He is getting there, eventually. Everyone just called us taking a moment to farm now, which is good. Always a little bit unexpected. When people realize, you know what, we don't have to fight all the time. It's kinda nice. Saying that, Wraith here. Up by themselves. Everything dropped. Everything dropped. And now is the team going to try and back her up after she dies? Yamato and Hayes coming in for some damage. While the McGuinness ult is wearing out. We'll see. Shift coming in for some damage, but... Yamato. Playing more aggressive up the ropes again. Onto the building, escapes. Yamato hates these ropes. Absolutely hates the ropes, won't, won't interact with them. Is scared of friction burn, maybe. And now Mo and Krill digging underground. Come for an upward spin. But she's transforming using the ult. Trying to get the damage out, just play an aggressive. Get one down. Try to get some more now. She's so strong. And she does. Oh, she does. With the help of Haze as well. And Infernus nearby. Surviving this Yamato is actually kind of pogging off, lads. Kind of pogging off. Now McGuinness is coming back for some action. Looking through the window. Hello. Maybe, maybe this is not the fight you want against all of them. Saw there were a few in the shop, but just in furnace left nearby that she can see. Little does she know, even Grey Talon's turned up now. Coming for a bit of a team fight. Mo and Krill, though. 
He's also turned up to help. And getting the lockdown with a McGinnis ult on top. That's going to be a lot of burst. I'm not even sure Yamato wants to deal with it. Starting to roll away. Trying to get there. It is rather beefy using the ult to try and sustain the damage. And is it going to happen? Is it going to be enough? Get him punched, surviving for a long old while, but not long enough. And all this time, Paradox, is, I feel, is just ratting. Ratting and making space. Oh, and Great Town's left. Great Town's left. Okay. I mean, I weirdly think this could be in favor of Sapphire Flame. You know, he's not there taking the souls that are shared. So the people that were kind of playing the game are going to be playing it a bit more. They're just going to get more farm for partaking and being relevant. Hey, he's getting locked down though by Warden. That's how you deal with a fire woman. Put her in a trap. Stop her moving. And this, is this going to be a slow tier three push? Warden trying to get some more lockdown here. But himself being lifted up by Wraith, trying to retreat. While McGuinness is using an ult to deter them. Yamato comes in, melee range, deals with the turret lady. Now going for some more and my god warden, can you choose to scope or not scope? You're giving me a headache. It's a bit much for me. It's a bit much for me. And now the couple of beefy boys still in the retreat, shiv down. And now it's just Abrams trying to get out one. Does manage. But can he sustain the rest of them on the charge out, on the leap away? He's living a long time, but it's not going to be enough. He did. Oh, he did. A nice defense here. A nice defense from an aggressive push. And are they going to turn the beat around? Are they going to turn the beat around? As they now are the ones on the aggression going for the walker. But McGuinness is back up with a nice wall in the warden lockdown. They easily deal with Wraith. So Yamato and Hayes may have to choose to back out. As the rest of Sapphire Flame are coming in. Yamato might get locked down if she doesn't move. She does. And there we go. Another big old ulti. From both McGuinness and Yamato. God, they're struggling to deal with her, but there we go. The Moan Krill. The ult is committed. Hold her in one place. Stop her wriggling around and surviving. And now it's become a back and forth on the orange lane. Well, the split push does come out. From the old blue feet woman. It's not me being weird. She hasn't got shoes on. It's not me. It's not me being weird. Um, but split push is maybe getting punished. Oh, and Krill comes to rotate, but Infernus is also turned up, so maybe he can't solo defend. He might actually be in a spot of danger himself. But it's kind of a bit of a rat strap from a couple of lads. While Amber Hand going into the base. Trying to get some shrines. In the side lane as well. Paradox, who I've, I think has just been on this lane for the whole game. I, th I think they, they're just on the one lane mission. Slowly getting there. Slowly getting there. I'm trying to click on the map. I'm trying to click, hey, sorry about that. And now, Warden pops his ult, but... Not going to make him live. Not going to make him live. It's going to be... It's looking like another defense. Another defense. For old Sapphire here. Oh, there's still a couple in the base. Shiv. On the retreat. Damage doesn't come in immediately for this lad, but... He also doesn't get out immediately if he starts dodging into walls. Up and over. Oh, hey, still chasing. He's he's right there. He's right there. And gets walloped by the walker. Stuns him. For Hayes to get the kill. 
And now Mo and Krill trying to deal with Yawato, but not gonna happen. I mean, look at this. Look at the souls difference now. Sapphire Flame, look at these souls. Now that it's been split among less people being just around these kills, they're getting big. They're getting big. It's only, it's only Mo and Krill that's kind of above 20k. Well, it is only, it is only Mo and Krill that's above 20k on old Amber Hand, but a couple on above 20k on Sapphire, so... Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. It's still very winnable being a man down, it feels, in these games. Still very, very winnable. McGuinness doing a little old wall jump. Learning new mechanics. Love to see it. Love to see it. I'm still pretty bad at wall jumping myself. But using it for a bit of speed. Got the team covered. Free movement. Getting the urn delivered. Mo and Krill just kind of running around the map. Eating anyone up. I mean, they are all relatively squishy, so Mo and Krill can kind of just lock them down and just do the damage in a big old burst while they can't move. And Furnace as well is now trying to run. Speaking of squishy lads, can he deal with Shiv and McGinnis? I mean, Shiv, I feel it's kind of ticking down to these dots. And Inferno's turning the beat around, maybe. Use the ulti. More of a getaway, please. And now, is there backup coming in? There is. There is. There we go. Shiv is down. The long chase. And now, uh, McGinnis? Oh! I think was probably looking at the shop there. Probably looking at the shop. Whoopsie doopsie! And now back on blue lane in the middle of the map. God, this game is messy, isn't it? This is a messy game. There's constant action. Constant, constant action. Hayes and Yamato being outnumbered here. Hayes will go invisible to try and scurry away while Yamato has actually gone quite far up, but Warden is here nearby. All the way up in the sky. Well, Mo and Krill. Oh, the lockdown's coming in. Getting her controlled, getting her stunned. And with a little bit of lockdown with the numbers. Oh, they do it. Using that numbers advantage. They have more players. They're going to get the win, right? 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 Sometimes I don't know. I feel, I feel, people still don't know this game. Games are going to be unpredictable. It's time for the Shrine. Zamba Hand pushing up. Are we going to get defense from the sky? Or defense from inside the pit? Getting a little bit stuck out of mana. Out of mana? Out of stamina. So everyone is respawning. So kind of hiding down low to try and get some damage out from Wraith. Abrams, I don't think really cares. Abrams doesn't really care. Hayes was the one to go in aggressive and dies for it. And now Wraith as well, getting locked down. Mo and Krill. Kind of doing it. Kind of doing it for the team. A good old matchup for this lad. And Yamato as well, popping the ulti. Wanting to do as much as they can to get the defense out. Abrams dropping very low, does eventually die. But it's only one out of them. And Paradox as well does get finished off on the other side of the fight. But it's one and a half shrines down. And the team is still in here. On Amber Hand. Despite dropping down a lot of people. A wall goes down from a Guinness, but... It's not quick enough, because... A couple of swords are going to be in the action. But can't get the hit to knock them down off the zip. McGuinness gets out just about. It's a hold. It is just about a hold. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at this. Insane net worth. Insane. A, a lot a, a lot of items. A lot of items. I'm not I've not played an addictor, so I don't know what you're meant to do for the builds. 
I assume this is good. I mean, it's a lot of orange, so probably a lot of damage, a lot of right click, right? A lot of, a lot of right click. I feel like any hero that requires, I say, it's right click, my god. Left click in this game. The, do the Dota terminology of physical damage saying right click has really stuck in my brain, hasn't it? It really has. Mo and Creel, there we go. Lockdown again. Wallops her, now looking for more. God, he, he, does, he does a lot. He does a big old lot. He's so tanky as well. Grace just firing all she has, but... Mo and Krill just do not care! Tanks it all! Only drops to about half health. Only about half health. I'm just curious where the Sapphire Flame can come back. Being being a person down. Are they gonna be able to do it? Or is Moan Krill just too big? 30k net worth, 30k souls? Uh, he's beef. He is beef, and I feel he counters most their heroes, in all honesty. In all honesty. We'll see. Infernus using his ult now to try and just run away. Running up to the middle of the map. Up and over. Is he hiding? Is he hiding? Is he living? I think so. Oh, maybe not. Ship has spotted him. I'm now getting surrounded by Paradox as well on the rat. But Paradox playing scared. Leaves him to retreat, but you know he's not retreating. Oh, it's old Mo and Krill. There's the ult. There's the damage. But it's Mo and Krill versus the whole team. It seems Warden's coming in for a bit of backup, but he's not quite there. Kind of in the sidelines. But going underground, Mo and Krill does get away. And it's Warden the one that gets punished for the overstepping. And now we're going to get a big old clash here from both sides. Mo and Krill going in deep while the McGuinness drops the ult on the side. Trying to go on Yamato. She's the one to deal with. She's the troublemaker. And where are these beefy boys? We're going to deal with each other. Both getting in close. Just go for some punches. Is anyone going to parry? Or is everyone just going to panic? Back and forth. The whole fight's happening, but these two lads just punching back and forth. Somehow. Still all here. There we go. Team's coming in. As the ult wears out for Yamato, so does her life. And now the numbers game kind of showing. Maybe it is more worth than having a few extra souls. Because they're less split. And Vindictor as well. Drop down, but... Wasn't even a full team fight because on the other side of the map, Infernus going for a little bit of a rat strat against the Warden. He's the only one defending here. And he's doing a fair chunk of damage. A fair chunk of damage. 1v1ing. Whether they can hold this split push off from Warden. Is he gonna. Oh no, he's in danger. He's caught up. Infernus now. Gonna have free reign to wrap. No one's on defense. The Sapphire Flame. Their base is basically down at this point. It's basically down. The shrines are over. The patron's exposed. Whether Infernus can actually backdoor it in time. It's gonna be tricky. Because the whole of Amber Hand is in here. Trying to end the game out. And you know what? Infernus has said, maybe not. Let's get back in the base. Let's try and defend with my team. I don't have the damage by myself, but my team is here on the defense. Yamato. The one with the damage. The one with the lockdown. The one who is going to maybe get Paradox, but having to use the ult again. While around the corner. Try to get something. They're getting a couple on the defense. There's only a few left. But it's Mo and Krill who is the beefcake. And he's doing damage. He's doing damage and has another ult available on Vindicta. Stops are flying around. Stops are scurrying about. Stops are getting the high ground in the base. And now getting in the pit. 
trying to get down Wraith. Look at this. Just sustain, sustain, sustain. He doesn't care. Staying around. 10 cut. 10k souls. Just ready to spend. And that's probably it. The patron. First form. Getting low. Haze has respawned, but doesn't have the team available. Going in by themselves. Now just trying to retreat back out. But it is a bit of distraction. It is a wee bit of distraction. Well, the patron's now on the ground. Vulnerable, weakened. The rest of Amber Hand have respawned and managed to make their way all the way up. And Abrams has left as well. When did that happen? It's now a 5v5 game. We're becoming Dota, everyone. We're just going to lose a lane now. And then... <laughs> We're good. Moan Krill trying to cut some waves here. And it is kind of working. It is kind of working. Because he forces one back. And with his buddy Shiv. Helps out. And Ferd is trying to use his ulti. Getting some burst out. But Moan Krill doesn't care. He's all his team just dying around him. But he's so tanky. He's so tanky. He has so much spirit lifesteal. That every time he uses something, he's healed him back to full. Insanely, with such short cooldowns. He's just living forever, it seems. And now he's turning back around. Oh, he's going to far. I thought he was running back in. I thought he was I thought he was absolutely mental. And now the rat strat coming back in from Wraith. A big old pusher. A big old pusher, but Warden is here prematurely. Values the base, doesn't want it falling. Always here, always here to help the base. Or maybe he's just here to deal the creeps and doesn't doesn't see Wraith. McGinnis sure does though. Uh, Wraith do it doing an aggressive zip in the Duke. Duke's McGinnis, but doesn't juke the warden. And I guess the rest of the team does also show up. In time, now they're gonna push out the left hand lanes. So what is this build here on Moan Krill? Why is he unkillable? Enduring Spirit, Spirit Lifesteal. Enduring Speed, he's a quick lad. Healing boosters, Bullet Armor, Improved Spirit Armor, and then Spirit Lifesteal. So it's kind of double Spirit Lifesteal and then Healing Boosting Amp. So that's all his spell Lifesteal, right? And then he's got a lot of Burst, some Pulse, so even when people are just near him, he's healing up because he's doing damage, which is quite fun. And Balanced Spirit as well, just Improved Spirit. And escalating exposure. I guess that stacks up with his um, pulse as well, which is quite interesting. Quite interesting indeed. And then, wait, is this the turnaround? Is this the turnaround? Sorry, all the Sapphire Flame have kind of come in here. Oh no, Moan Krill's here for the defense now. Moan Krill's here. It was, it was a bit of a push. They got a shrine. Now having to back out. Now having to back out. Yeah, Toe does survive, but not everyone else does. And Furnace is still sticking around, though. Oh, he crazy. Oh, he crazy. He's trying to get McGuinness. And just about does with the dots. But pays with his life. And while Amberhand deals with him, Warden's up here on the, on the push against Yamato, using the ult now to survive and our warden might be the one in trouble she's unkillable for a little bit longer but warden he's getting the movement away trying to get another stun down but ooh, it does just about go off and plink 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 in the cage she gets shot and so the push continues from warden as the rest of amber hand comes up now well haze is here getting some sleep out has an ult available. But getting disarmed by the Molman. The dust in the eyes. Treating back into the base. Doesn't want to deal with the beef of Mo and Krill. Whereas he's kind of just fountain farming. Well, just kind of keeping them still. It's just staying there, he says. I don't want to hit the buildings, but all oh, this damage is actually kind of nuts now. Guess the lockdown on Furnace, but oh my goodness, who did all that? It was Vindicta. 
with the with the damage and a lot of afterburn on top. Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. Kind of nuts. Kind of nuts. And now the defense will probably be enough. Oh, although McGinnis actually on the side. On the side quite far out. Gets an ult, gets one. But getting wrapped on. Gets dropped down. Furnace with the kind of wraparound plays here. Helping to defend. And again, Yamato on Warden. Vengeance is coming. Or is it a return second kill? No. Vengeance achieved. Oh, another defense. Another defense. They're clutching it. Oh, they're clutching it. And now Patron exposed on one hand as well. Both sides. Getting scary. Oh, it's getting scary. Mo and Krill is here. Trying to defend with Paradox. And a big old Molman. Can afford to play a little bit aggressive, but maybe not too hold. As he's having to retreat out a bit. As his team respawns. He's dropping quite low, digging underground. But his team's up now. Using a big old spin, trying to get some spirit lifesteal up. Doesn't have ult for another 20 seconds, but... Yamato does! Will transform! And wreak havoc as much as they can. Okay, now a heap of damage, but it's over for them as the ult drops. Runs out. And now down here. Surviving not much longer. The ult is there. Keeping the squishies at bay. Just Hayes left. The only one who manages to escape here from Sapphire. Running back up to the top of the map. A minute without a couple of people. As the constant back and forth of this game is insane. No one farming, no one taking mid boss. Just going for the end. McGuinness is getting in the pit. Putting down a turret. Getting a few down, but there's a lot of burst already from Hayes. The wall is there, drops to save. Hayes goes down. And the patron being plinked by everyone. They want to close out this game while everyone's respawning and it goes. Woo! What a game! What a game! Oh, look at that. Moan Krill li literally dumpstering. Dumpstering. So much, da so much damage. So much damage. That was insane. If you got a fun Deadlock replay, do send it my way. I'll give it a watch. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.